Monday morning. Uh, can't find my hat this morning, and I've run out of coffee beans. But I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna sand them risers, prep for paint really, cut bits and bobs, whack you on the time lapse, because uh, last week's video was ridiculous. And um, yeah, just update you as and when. All right then. Okay, right then. Uh, so I just thought I'd just take a second just to show you the um, I'll do that back up, do the toggle method um, of cutting the mitre folds. So if we look at this here, this is the jig that I made up. So my point of reference for the outside of the mitres is here, and then you can see around here, I've got my where the blade stops cutting so that measurement from there to here is actually the thickness of the newel plus the thickness of two of these these are 12 so 24 add the thickness of the newel 82 plus a little bit for glue is what you set that gauge up to and then you pre-cut all your boards if it's pre-cut then to sort of four or five mil over. then you run that through the saw uh, two times you don't have to because you've only cut it four or five mil over your first measurement, it's just taking off the four or five mil thickness of the blade that's your miss. And then your second measurement is cutting exactly to the line, exactly to the point. So you're actually only measuring it once for the jig, and you're only really clamping it in the same place for both. Uh, these toggle clamps are amazing as well. I've got loads of like little makeshift jigs with those, and the accuracy on that. Then if you look at the pile of bits, I think this one goes on there, yeah. So every single one, yeah, so so straight and true. It's, it's unbelievable. And then I don't know, if, you, if you've ever done any mitre folds or lo long mitres with a saw, you'll know. If I just take any one, you'll know that they burn when you cut them. If you don't get them quite right, but those cuts, there's not any burning on that. Um, you know, I've done them with a track. The track saw is an unbelievable thing to cut the mitre folds with because you're keeping the weight down on the actual um, material that you're cutting. So therefore you're getting, because it's a 3D cut, because you're cutting at an angle. If, you, if you're if you not flat, then that angle will change as it goes along. Um, with this, the clamps and this piece of timber, sacrificial piece of timber, is, is holding it completely down, completely flat. So 
it's just a basically a perfect cut every time. Right, I'll then track on now with, um, so we've sanded these, sanded all these this morning as well. So essentially now, prepped, prepped. Yeah, now I'm gonna take everything up to the paint room, give it a, give it a coat. Right, I've been at it for about an hour now, well, hour and a half, including setting up. I just thought I'd show you the paint room. So I've got this hatch here. It basically drops down onto these stairs. Everything was made by me, mezzanine floor, insulated the roof, um, spray everything over here. And then this is all the drawing room. Yeah, so we've got stuff drying, got the bubble nose step drying. Got all the bits from the other day that I ran through the panel saw drying. Sea of spindles drying. Um, yeah, you know, the, it's not the it's not the most professional setup, but um, I do sort of outsource a lot of the <coughs> a lot of the spraying. Um, however, to have a little paint room is so handy for, for this job. We've got the oak cam rail, so therefore, for me to fit those spindles without them being pre-painted. Just wouldn't be very fair on anyone having to cutting you know white spindles around the um around the handrails also the paint in there is terrible so i don't think they really want that to uh to happen I shouldn't say it's terrible it's a lovely little guy but anyway um yeah waffle on so that's it really nothing too exciting tuesday morning icy outside uh later than i wanted did score in today uh so i've also got to pick them up so it's going to be a, just almost not worth going to work, but I've driven to places, got bits. Uh, but if you ever do the school run, you know what that's like. Yeah, so I've come to Howden's. It's rammed. I've got there at just the time where the lorry and that's in the yard. Can't be helped. So I'm going to go somewhere else, get some other bits and bobs. Going to swing back on my way back past and hope that it's quieter. I mean, I've got to get them anyway. I just don't want to be queuing. Then I'm going to go to the workshop and spray the spindles. As long as I can get the, I've only got one heater in the paint room, so I can get that up to temperature, I'll spray the spindles, um, cause it's bloody cold. Um, and then just, I don't know, maybe start cutting the drawers. I don't really know. I haven't really got a plan. Uh, tomorrow, I've got, I'm gonna, I'll have got. i have a plan because I'm going to fit Thursday. So I want to get as much prepped and done as I can. Um, right, let's do this. Okay then, so... Everything's up there drying now in the spray room. Just for I've got to do newel caps um, because I'm cladding the newels. It's very unlikely I can buy a newel cap to work with that. So, and also I've got loads of oak. I've got an hour to kill. So I was just taking these bits, which I've struggled to ever use. And I'm going to, um, well, I'm going to clean them up now. Uh, and then, yeah, maybe make a jig just for the housing out at the bottom and, I, and I'll show you that process.
Okay, lovely. Right. Uh, I just thought I'd quickly run you through the jig that I knocked up there. Um, it's got a bit messy, to be honest with you, because I just smashed those out. But basically, we've got here um, a jig which holds the piece of oak in place. Then a separate jig which goes over the top, which basically then performs this job of housing out each one to sit on the mule. And then we actually reuse that jig to um, to take the side off of it, cut a bit out, and we'll then put our cap in. And that's purely because when you're routering, anyone that's ever routed um, the end grain of oak will know how much it explodes on if you're not careful. Now, I'd, I've got a spindle moulder over there. I've got a router table. I'd always personally favour having the holding the tool and having the work piece secure because if it explodes on your moves or jumps out your hand you're you 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 can hold that tool better it's designed but you know the festival route was designed it's very ergonomic to hold it correctly and it's sitting in the jig as well it's not going to do you any damage but if the oak moves um yeah it's shiny because it's planed it's going to slide out smack you in the face also just knocked up it's always really handy just some double-sided tape so basically i've knocked this up so that it sits in there so when my router goes over my router can't deviate and go into the into the rebate yeah sorry cut out then um i basically had to run around like an idiot today because um i was dropping the kids and i was dropping the kids off now i've got to go pick them up so i was sort of halfway through recording that video and uh, realised I was just going to be late, so just through the phone now. But then realised I've actually got to finish the video for any sort of continuity. So this is me finishing the video. And also, I'm not driving on the main road. This is like a private lane for anybody who complains. Not that anybody watching it, but... Right, see you tomorrow. Morning, it's Wednesday. We're going to go straight in the spray room this morning at... Uh, be about 8 o'clock by the time I get set up and go in. 45 minutes spraying and straight on with making the drawers I guess um, so I'll update you in a little bit My God, it is cold, really cold. Right, um, nice little heat lamp that the uh, farmer gave me just uh, this afternoon. Anyway, just doing a time lapse of me making these. Uh, Stay an oak veneer board. I'm going to spin you around now so you can see them all together. Um, if you can imagine, obviously the stairs will go up over those. 
you won't ever actually see the front because it'll have a painted panel on. That last one will be the same size when the painted panel goes on. It's just at the moment we need to keep it back so that when the drawer goes backwards and forwards, it clears the underfloor heating control. Um, I should show you inside them actually as well. They do still need a um, little bit of attention on the edges and stuff. Um, but uh, before, I'm not going to oil them now. I'll just, I'll just, uh, I'll leave them, let them dry, let them sit there. But basically, um, this is going to be shoe storage. Then this second one will pull out and be shoe storage. Now this one was going to be shoe storage, but um, oh, it blew it up. Uh, but um, basically, I just thought they've got so much shoe storage. I mean, they've got literally all of that. So I've just made that for coat. They did say they were going to put the coats in the utility room, but I thought if I just leave it like that, we can hang coats up there. Bit of, there's a bit of stability there. And I think it will work. And worst case scenario, if it doesn't work, worst case scenario, if it doesn't work, I'll just cut some more shelves and, and put them in um, because I can face fix really I've, I've only pocket screwed them just because I, I wanted to apply the same system for all of it but the reality is that it can be face fixed afterwards uh, they look pretty good though pretty happy with them bit of a ball lake but went quite well in the end it's things like that where the cad really helps because they, they're quite big so measuring and marking uh, all of those um, and trying to get the angles right if you just draw it on cad you know you're going to be spot on Right, that's just me done for the day then. I say I'd like all it, because I'm an idiot, do that sort of thing. But basically, there it is, just what I show you. Oh, it looks so nice all you see. So much warmer. Um, just got to wipe the excess off. Also did the handrails and boxed them and did those. Just give myself a head start for tomorrow. I'm gonna to go tomorrow to, um, I'm gonna to go tomorrow to, to that job. I'm just gonna to start to the, the kitchen job, start fitting the stairs. Right then, see you in the morning. Morning, Thursday. Um, yeah, so I've just come into the workshop, been here about an hour, loaded up, uh, made sure everything's, because it was a bit cold last night, there is, there is some heat in here. Just made sure they dry, dry, which they have done. And now I'm just walking around the workshop, looking at everything, hoping that that will remind me of anything that I might have forgotten. Probably, oh, there you are, table saw, forgot the table saw. Right, okay, so we're, we're in the customer's house now. Got to get all this stuff in still, but I just want to quickly show you exactly what I've got to try and get over. So this one, I, pro I possibly could remove that one. This one I'll never remove in a million years. So that's why we're cladding around the new Same there, if I remove that, game over really. So um, yeah, just thought I'd show you before I start. I'm not going to get a lot done today, but I'm going to get the stuff in, but I know I keep saying that. Um, it also, it's a good idea just to document what's been damaged already, or what, what's not quite right already. Um, yeah, all right, let's get on with it. sunshine it's a change isn't it
morning. Carrying on. Right then, that's it. Friday, five o'clock. Uh, been about a day and a half um, on this, including the uh, rip out, uh, not including the, the loading out there. So I'll just show you now. Still a little bit of glue needs taken care of addressing, but obviously I'm back here on Monday to finish off these. Um, sort out this, the noise on the stairs. And uh, that's that new against the wall there. Obviously, I've created the chamfer detail on it as well. Um, yeah, and these are the mitre folds. See them now? Just to clad the newel. Uh, and you can see the newel is such a different shape down the bottom. I've got to pack all that off as well. But the idea being, if you can imagine, when it's done, it will just look like the spindles and I'll carry that chamfer detail into there to match the spindles and obviously you've got the caps which will go on um, yeah look nice when it's done and the ball nose step down the bottom and then I've ripped this off here so I'm actually going to clad that in a piece of the same material as that up to the underside of the, the cupboards um, yeah it's been a bit of a Fought me a little bit because I've had to. Well, it's probably you know the, it's terrible, terrible quality really. But I've, I've had to put some filler in. I had to chop this into there. I've kind of filled what needs filling this side. We can see from there. That bit there that can get done afterwards. But I've, anything like in between the spindles and against the handrail, I've put something in there. And obviously it's had a, a spray, sprayed it with a top coat, but it was still one painting on site. It's just, um, saves them a lot of work really. Yeah, all cleaned up. That's it, that's my week done. Not too bad really, could have been better, but I think it's been quite time. Oh, it's bright, isn't it? Bloody hell. Um, yeah, sorry, the customer came in there when I was filming, but basically all I was gonna say was uh, jobs like that, Really, I'd allow, if I was just changing handrails and spindles, I'd allow a day. And I could, I could normally, it might be a long day, you can normally get it done in a day. But when you've got to wrap the newels, and I took that little bit out underneath, um, yeah, it does take a little bit longer. Uh, or if you have to change the newels, it's just another day. So it's been two days. Uh, every handrail has been dominoed in as well, dominoing with the bigger dominoes. Um, and all the handrails are pre-oiled, I oiled them before I got here so again it just, just saves the customer a bit of time so um, yeah it's not a bad job really, it, just frustrating you know that I won't finish it this week but um, yeah it'll be a good next week getting on it and um, yeah other bits and bobs coming up. Right, see you later.